to the light and power of your soul. To the light and to power, the light of, your and power of your soul. May it be pure, clean, and shining. Angim he in cook, Kigim he em sikil, Shaganagim he em dagdag. That's the formula for triple blessing in ancient Samaria. It means may it be pure, clean, and shining. The beginning of magic. The beginning of magic is knowing what you want. Knowing yourself and what is appropriate for you at a given time. The beginning of magic is knowing what you want while aligning yourself with that which is appropriate. The beginning of magic is knowing yourself. Acknowledging all there is of you. The primal beast. The tender heart. The chaos of confusion. The crystalline mind. The impulse of evil. The soul of compassion, the thought seed of sex, the hunger of desire. The beginning of magic is a torch, casting its glow into the spidery corners of your mind. Reach in and examine the festering wound. Greet the child that silently waits, guarding the gift of pure sight, the terrifying gift. Grasp the hand thrust out from the abyss, it's your own. Now untie the knot at the heart of your denial. Pick at the knot at the heart of your denial. Tear at the knot at the heart of your denial. And if all else fails, do like Alexander and chop it with the sword of your will. Unmask the lie, the burdensome lie, and surrender to the alchemy of truth. Burn your illusions at the altar of what is and find rest there from the effort of turning away. Offer your innocence the root of your fear, knowing you may be ripped to shreds. Throw down the weapon of judgment and master the tool of discernment. Be kind, spiteful, wary, and open. Be silly, dead serious, holy, and profane. Take a good long look. Take a good long look and recognize it all as you. Now look closer. The beginning of magic is in the mirror. Strip naked and engage yourself unflinchingly there. Lovingly and mercilessly interrogate your doubt. Day and night, day and night, stalk your doubt day into night until the stink of your wound, the taste of your pain, the discomfort of your first guarded encounter with joy lead you to engage the flitting shadows of your being. Then choose where you stand and ally yourself with those aspects that reflect your true nature. Learn to control those that might undermine your stance and remain open to altering your position in light of new information. Then you will begin to be conscious. You will begin to embody the power that is available for use in the pursuit of wholeness. That in time your integrity may serve as a touchstone, a lighting of the way on the pilgrim's path of doing and undoing. Loose the knot at the heart of your denial and cultivate your magic for the sake of all. It is our primary duty, and one that cannot be shirked. You must become your own spell, elemental and enduring. There is no spell without you. Your hand putting the match to the flame. The flame putting, putting the light, the light to, your to your mind. Your, your mind, mind putting, putting your will to the task. task. The task at hand, you. 
There is no spell without you. So lie down on your belly. Lie down on your belly on the ground. Lay down on your belly beneath the moon and clutch the earth, the rich, moist body of all that's come before us, the pulverized bones of ancient friends, the crown of the mulching dead who sustain us. Inhale their pungent remains, give thanks, and then pray to the mother. Pray face to face with the mother, sink to her breast, her dark, fertile breast, and whisper your tale of woe. Chant, chant the absurd, precious story of your pain. Cry to the mother for all you've lost and all you've never known. Lie down on your belly and weep to the mother. Weep. And that will be the beginning of magic. So let it be. That it harm none, do as thou wilt. And, and so, so must, must it, be. it be. So must it be. They are a sight to behold, are they not? Give a warm welcome to Ronnie Norpel, Maura T. Smith, and Jane LaCroix.